Are you tired of the same old AI voices in your roleplays? Are you sick of paying exorbitant fees for these AI voices? Do you wish you could use your own custom AI voices for free? Well, good news, because now you can. And today I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, when we scale your overload and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I think you're gonna like this one. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom AI voices for absolutely free and use them inside the text generation web UI. And all of that thanks to the cookie TT TTS extension, which is basically a free library for text-to-speech generation that supports up to 16 different languages. And the way it works is super simple. Just place a 10 second audio preview of your subject talking inside the folder and the extension will automatically copy the voice of the subject instantly. And all of that without any training. Hello, it's me, Donald Trump. This video is gonna be huge. And the quality for a free text-to-speech is actually really, really good. And you can create as many custom voices as you want, which is just fantastic news for those of you looking for realistic custom voices for some um uh, sexy schmexy roleplay like uh hi honey did you sleep well ready for some action like uh, um, uh yeah boy uh yeah I i'm sure a lot of you are gonna have a lot of fun so today in this video i'm gonna show you how to install the extension and how to create any custom ai voices you want so get ready okay so the first step is of course to install the uba booga tech generation web ui now if you haven't done it already or if you don't know what i'm talking about i recently made a full installation video with a one-click installer for my Patreon supporters that you will find in the description down below. So definitely watch this video first, because now that you've installed the Tech Generation Web UI, you need to make sure that you're running the latest version. And for this, it's very simple. All you need to do is just double-click on the up.windows.bat file, which will automatically tell you if your web UI is up to date. And if not, it will install all the requirements it needs to run. So next, we need to install the extension. And you have basically two ways of doing this. And the first is of course by using the one-click installer that will be available available for my Patreon supporters. Well, technically it's a two-click installer in a way, but this is by far the easiest way to install the extension, because you will see that as of right now there is actually a lot of issues with the current extension, issues that those installer will solve automatically. But don't worry, I'm also gonna show you how to do it manually. But if you are on my Patreon supporters, you basically here are gonna have four different files, then you're gonna select all of them, and then drag and drop inside the text generation web UI folder. And once this is done, you're gonna double click on the first file called one install rec bat file, which will automatically install all the requirements it needs for the extension to run. And after a few seconds, once all the requirements are installed, it will ask you to press any key to continue, and once you do, it will automatically launch the web UI. And once you're inside the web UI, you're gonna click on session, and then here under available extension, you're gonna check cookie underscore TTS, and then click on apply flags extensions and restart. And then after a few seconds, it will ask you to agree to the terms of service to use this model, where here you're gonna simply input Y and then press enter. And then it will automatically download the text-to-speech model. And after a few seconds, once the model is downloaded, if now you scroll down, you will see here the cocky TTS extension, ready to be used. Or... Is it? Because yes, unfortunately, as of right now, this extension has a few issues. And the first issue is that if you actually close the web UI, and then if you relaunch it, and once again you reactivate the extension, you will see that even though we already downloaded the model previously, each time that you relaunch the web UI, it will re-download the model once again. And it will do that again and again and again, which is really, really annoying. And the second problem is that recently the text-to-speech model has been updated to the 2.0.3 version and a lot of people have actually been complaining that this version of the model is way worse than before or at least it is way worse compared to the 2.0.2 version so we somehow need to fix all of that but don't worry because once again if you are on my patreon supporters you really don't need to do anything because if you remember correctly i gave you four different files where previously you already run the install reg.bat file that installed all the requirements and now to solve all the issues of the extension, all you need to do is basically double click on the second file called update tts.bat file. So just double click it and wait for everything to be installed. Simple as that. And once it asks you to press any key to continue, just press any key on your keyboard and it will then download the previous model and automatically replace them inside the correct folder. And that's it, you're good to go. Because now if you start the wave UI again and you activate the extension, lo and behold, what do we have here? It says that the model is already downloaded and it will automatically 
quickly start using the model downloaded. So yeah, there you go. Simple as that. Okay, so now how do we do all of that manually? Well, the first thing that you need to do before launching the web UI, you're gonna click on the cmd underscore windows .bat file, wait for it to launch, and then here you're gonna type pip install r extensions cocky underscore tts requirements dot txt, and then press enter, which will download all the requirements it needs for the extension to run. Now obviously I've already done it before, so in my case everything is already installed, then once again you need to launch the web UI, check the cocky underscore tts, and then click apply flags and extensions. It will then ask you to agree to the terms of condition, so you're gonna press Y, then press enter, which will automatically download the model, and after this is done, you're gonna close the web UI, you're gonna once again launch the command underscore windows.bat file, then here you're gonna type pip install dash dash upgrade tts, then press enter, which will upgrade the extension, then you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and then here you need to download the model.pth and the vocab.json files. So just click on this button right here, download them onto your computer, and then you're gonna choose the disk when you have Windows installed, so in my case it is C drive, then you're gonna go inside users, choose your username, then go inside app data, and if for some reason you don't see that folder, you need to click here on view, then show, and then enable hidden items, because otherwise this folder will be invisible to you. So you're gonna inside that folder, then in the local, then you're gonna scroll down until you see TTS, go inside that folder, inside TTS models, then here you're gonna see a bunch of files, and you're gonna take the two files that we downloaded, the model.pth and the vocal.json, and you're gonna drag and drop them inside that folder. And if it asks you if you want to replace the two files, you're gonna say yes. And there you go. Now you should be good to go. Because now, if you again, if you relaunch the web UI, and you reactivate the extension, it says that the model is already downloaded and ready to be used. Meaning that now we can finally have some fun. We can finally create our own voices. So how do we do that? Well there is actually a lot of ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you what actually worked for me. So basically you need to know that it basically comes with three different voices, female 1, female 2, and Arnold, which is basically Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they are all in WAV format. And this is the format that we need to use for the voices. Now the way I personally do this is that I basically go on YouTube, choose a voice I want to clone. So let's say I want for example to clone the voice of Donald Trump. I'm gonna choose for example an interview, and then I'm gonna record the entire screen and the sound with something like Nvidia Shadowplay, which is actually how I'm recording this video right now. And once I have this small video of around 20 seconds, I need to convert that MP4 video into the WAV format. And to do that, I use a very simple website called cloudconvert.com, which is very easy to use. Here you're gonna simply select the starting format, so in my case it is video, mp4, then choose the target format, so in my case it is audio, WAV, then I'm gonna drag and drop the file right here, and then click convert. And after a few seconds, the conversion is finished, and you can download it on your computer. So once we have the WAV file, we need to actually make it a little bit better. We need to delete all the poses, and only keep moments when the subject is talking. And for this, I highly recommend using something like Audacity to do the job, which is a free software that is very, very easy to use. Basically, you're gonna take your file, once again, drag and drop it inside the window. Then from here, we actually need to modify a few things. So first, you're gonna click on Edit, then on Preferences, then in Quality, you're gonna select 22,050 Hz for the default sample rate and 16-bit for the default sample format, then click OK. Then you're gonna click on the track, Ctrl A to select all the track. Then you're gonna click on Tracks, then Mix, and then mix stereo down to mono, which will basically convert a stereo track into a mono track. And then you're gonna click on tracks, resample, and then choose the 22,050 hertz, sample rate, and then click OK. And now all we need to do is basically find around 6 seconds of continuous audio without any pauses. So like for example, this already looks pretty good. This should be good enough for the audio cloning. So basically I'm gonna select everything that is not this, then press delete, and do the same thing for the rest, and now we have a continuous 6 second audio with no pauses when the subject is continuously talking. And this is exactly what we want. And now to export the track, you're gonna click on file, export, export as wave, then you're gonna give it a name, for example, like Trump, and then click on save, and then click OK. And there we go. Now, technically, you could stop there. It should be already pretty good. However, I found that another additional step could make the results even better. And that is by using a free tool called Adobe Podcast, which is basically a free tool from Adobe that uses AI to clean your audio files. Like, once again, it is really, really easy to use, and the difference is actually pretty huge. So once again, for example, if I drag and drop the file over here, then I wait a few seconds, 
for the tool to do its magic. And now this is the final result. So this is the before. And uh, other people aren't going to bring it and back. This is Certainly the, after. the person that we're dealing with is not going to bring it back. They're going to raise taxes. So yeah, there is actually a pretty huge difference. And now you can simply click on download. And then once you have the enhanced audio inside the text generation web UI, you're going to go inside extensions, cocky underscore TTS, and then click on voices. And in this folder, you're going to input all the voices that you want to copy. So I'm going to take my wave file and then drag and drop it right here. And well, that's it. That's really all you need to do. And for the voice to be available, you can just click on this refresh button right here, and then you can finally select your voice. You can also use a preview text to check how good it sounds, and then click preview. Hello, it's me, Donald Trump. This video is going to be huge. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. I mean, this is really impressive. With only six seconds of audio, we managed to get an absolutely incredible quality of text to speech. Now, keep in mind, this is not like a full audio AI training. So I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, it does doesn't sound exactly like Donald Trump, but this is technically not even AI training, because if you want something even better than that, I might do a future training video about it, so if you are interested about it, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and also if you are one of my Patreon supporters, you will have access to 4 different small audio of Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and also the voice for the Sandra girlfriend character that I introduced in my previous video. Which once again, once you have a custom audio and combined with a custom character, can give some really cool roleplay results. Sandra walks into the cafe, her eyes lighting up when they meet yours. Hey love, she gives you a warm smile, leaning in for a soft kiss. I hope you haven't been waiting long, the traffic was insane. Oh, and also do not forget that exactly like I showed in my previous video, you can actually use your own microphone to talk to the characters without typing anything. And to activate this extension, you're gonna click on session, then activate whisper underscore STT, then click on this button right here, reload the wave UI. And now if you scroll down, you will see here a very cool button that if you press on it, will allow you to record your audio from your microphone that will automatically be converted into text. So for example, if I say something like, hey honey, sit down. I just just ordered some coffee. She takes a seat across from you and sighs contentedly as she looks around the cafe. She glances back at you before continuing, sir. How have things been since last time we saw each other? Any big changes at work or anything exciting happening in your life? So just like that, without typing anything, everything I said over the microphone was then converted into text. And then in response, I got an audio message from the AI character. And all of that using the custom AI voice we created earlier. And all of that for absolutely free. Running on your local computer. I mean, this is it, folks. The future is now. And when combined with an uncensored model, any not safe work scenario are now possible for you. So I'm sure that a lot of you will have a lot of fun. So yeah, there you go. Now you should know everything there is to know on how to install this extension and create your own custom AI voices. Also, if you have any issues whatsoever, do not forget that I provide priority support on Patreon for all of my Patreon supporters. So if you have any question, do not hesitate to write me in DM and we will try to solve your issues as fast as possible. So that being said, try it out yourself and have some fun. And there you have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.